What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing a San Diego Comic Con 2018 haul video. And I did pick up a lot of stuff, uh, full disclosure, not everything I have here I paid for, and I'll discuss what I didn't pay for, uh, but the vast majority of stuff here I, I actually did buy, and I picked up this comic book cover, I can't remember the name of the artist, but I loved it, and I thought it looked great, so I'm going to hang this up. Really dig this a lot. We get Carnage, Venom, Spidey, MJ, and Black Cat right there, all looking gorgeous. I also picked up this comic book cover. It's an Adam Hughes. And uh, again, we can get Black Cat, Cleavage, and got it signed by Adam Hughes. I picked up an extra one for my bud Rodin, who couldn't make it out to San Diego Comic Con this year. Uh, also picked up uh, these chopsticks. These are actually Charlene One's chopsticks. So, uh, yeah, we like to. Uh, eat sushi when we can and she really likes these so those are really cool and they kind of have these rivets right there at the bottom gives a better grip uh, these shades right here these are the bumblebee shades that were part of the Hasbro gift bag along with these pop sockets I don't have a pop socket on my phone but I really liked the art of Optimus and Megatron and I lucked out getting both of them so that is really cool and then uh, moving back this way uh, Charlita One and I spent quite a bit of time in Artist Alley and we picked up some art pieces from Greg Horn. I know there's people out there that don't like Greg Horn, but I like his artwork. I like a lot of the stuff he does, some of it I don't like, but we did pick up several art pieces and this is a whole concept thing of a shark versus Thor. So I thought that was hilarious. Um, well, actually, I thought it was kind of funny. Charlita One thought it was freaking hilarious. She was dying, so uh, she had... To, I love it. Yeah, so she had to get it, and... It was really nice, too. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, uh, he gave us a deal. Uh, we had the baby with us and everything, so he gave us a big discount and hooked us up with the free poster and everything. So that was really cool. Uh, we also picked up uh, Mikasa Ackerman right here from Attack on Titan. I thought that looked really cool. I liked that a lot. And then Charlie One really liked this image of Captain America with the glowing star. That's really cool too. And then the one I picked out was Spidey taking a creepy shot of MJ right there. I love this pick right here. That is so awesome. I'm digging it. Yeah. And then we got a poster for Lord Emmatron. I mean, it was her first convention, man. But both Charlie One and I fell in love with this Spider Gwen uh, poster right here. This is awesome. Uh, this artist has this really unique style where he uh, adds foil to the image so you can see it's reflecting light and everything and this palette just really goes well with her room so we wanted to add this in there. I think this is amazing. I love it. And then uh, Charlie One, uh, or not Charlie to One, but Lord Emmatron also got this Sailor Moon figure. Now this is probably going to be opened by yours truly and displayed in uh, the dork room and everything because it I do have a Sailor Mars. I always kind of wanted a Sailor Moon. Bro, I can't remember your name off the top of my head. It was the last purchase of the convention for me. Uh, thanks so much for the deal on it, brother. It was good meeting you, and thank you. <laughs> so he gave uh, Emmatron's first figure, or he sold Emmatron's first figure at a San Diego Comic-Con. So check that out. And then, oh, no, wait. Actually, this one is the first one. Yeah, so this was the second one. The first one, I did get the My Little Ponies for her, and she's already been playing with the box. Uh, it's supposed to be a boom box right here. She kind of messed up the handle a little bit. And, oh, crap, I just knocked some stuff over. And then she also, uh, you know, pushed these in already. So, yeah, the box is already getting damaged, but, you know, it's for her to play with. Uh, these two pieces that just fell over right here. Three three-quarter inch special action figure set from Star Wars. I like the foil box. I'm not going to open this, so don't expect a review. But I love that Dr. Afra, and I had to get Dr. Afra right over there. She looks beautiful, not too bad looking. Hope we, hopefully we get that six inch scale. I thought that we were going to. Anyway, then she has her droids right here, BT-1 and Triple Zero, or is she their human? No, no, these are evil droids right here, especially that Triple Zero, man. Or, uh, actually, BT-1 is too. They love torture and all that stuff. So yeah, I really like the characters from the comic books. Love that Afra. And then we have Blot right here, which is part of the Hasbro gift bag. So I got that one. Not a figure that I was, you know, seriously really interested in, but I was like, eh, okay, it looks cool. I'll open it up, see how it is. Uh, and then, um, big thanks to Adam. I was able to get a hold. Uh, he helped me uh, get a hold of this Batman Beyond figure from Mezco Toys. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it or not. Uh, just because I'm not the biggest Batman Beyond fan, but at the same time, uh, Mesco has impressed me in the past. And then 
Uh, thanks to Talker Art for helping me get a hold of this Mezco 112 Collective Exclusive Punisher figure. I may or may not keep this one also. So I'm on the fence with both of them. We'll see in the future. Um, for this figure right here, if I decide... Oops, I'm knocking over figures. Sorry, sorry. Uh, if I end up deciding not to keep it, please don't ask me. I already have a friend that is, you know, waiting to hear from me whether or not I decide to keep it. So there's already dibs on that Punisher if I end up, if I end up not keeping it. Uh, the Batman Beyond, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we also got the Han Solo with Minoc, so I have that exclusive right there. And then we also have the Bumblebee figure. I did pick up Bumblebee, and then I did get these NECA toys, uh, Aliens, uh, Gorilla Alien and the Mantis Alien. I missed out on these when they first came out. They've kind of gone up in price afterwards, but yeah, I had to get these, so big thanks uh, to the seller at the convention floor. I got a good deal on them. I really appreciate that. And then uh, thanks to Hasbro. I did uh, get a Red Skull exclusive figure, and big thanks to NECA Toys, I was able to get a hold of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set, I will be reviewing that first, that is actually probably the holy grail of the whole convention I think as far as action figure goes, is that TMNT box set, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for a review of them, I will be reviewing them soon. Then also thanks to ne uh, not NECA, but Hasbro for sending over the Defenders box set too, so I did get that as, as well. Um, part of the uh, gift bag thing was that they gave us some Bumblebee shirts, or this was part of the Hasbro breakfast that they gave us these Bumblebee shirts. I picked up the Razor just in case. Uh, Charlita won, won the lottery thing for Hasbro, so I just picked up a whole bunch of uh, extra stuff, and yeah, so I'm, I may not keep all the things that I got. Uh, but you can see right here, uh, we have Tobias Beckett from uh, the Solo movie, and then we also have a Rebel Trooper. These are part of the gift bags, so thank you Hasbro. I also got the Optimal Optimus exclusive right here. And then I didn't get any of the San Diego Comic Con exclusive SH Figure Arts figures. I, I just didn't need those uh, those figures. Those three all looked really good, but I didn't need them. But I did need a Master Roshi, so I had to pick up Master Roshi. I also got the Son Goku uh, training staff right here, so that is really cool. Or the Power Pole. And I also got the... Uh, the effects that I found at a booth right here I had to get these rock effects. I mean, they just look too cool, man. So, you guys know I like to use the Tamashi effects, and these are awesome looking. So I can't wait to use those. Uh, this I got this white energy effect right over here, which is new. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to actually keep this or not. So, you know, all this stuff I'm not 100% set. Well, you know, some of the stuff I'm 100% set on keeping, but you know, there's some some bits here and there that I'm not necessarily so. Uh, Hell bent on, on keeping in the collection. So anyway, uh, yeah, I want to know what you guys think of my haul. I had a very good time at San Diego Comic Con this year. It's a much more grounded uh, experience, you know. That is not as much crazy hype, you know, especially with Marvel not being there. And I was able to spend a lot of time in Artist Alley. That was a huge highlight for me. Is just spending time in Artist Alley, looking at different work, and con 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 conversating about art and stuff like that and meeting all kinds of people it was a great convention overall man i hope you guys enjoyed this haul video uh, stay tuned for more reviews and i'll catch you guys later peace hey new short miss prime videos hey you should click one yeah, click on one of them or subscribe if you haven't